Hey guys, it's Tam and Dwayne Love, and welcome to my NFC West 2020 playoff predictions. Um, before the NFL season starts, I'll be doing predictions for each division. So let's go to the division that a lot of people call the best in football this season, the NFC West. And I would agree, even the teams in this division that might not win it or might not make the postseason, I still think have some good talent. So let's start with the team that won the division last year, the San Francisco 49ers. Now this was a team that was in the Super Bowl. They lost to the Chiefs, but I think that this was a team that is good. I do not think that they're a fluky team. I think that they have a great defense with Robert Sala as that coordinator. Nick Bosa in year two, Fred Warner, Richard Sherman. There's a lot of great talent. Cal Shanahan's a good offensive mind, and they can run the ball well. Or well, I'm worried with this Niners team is is that they don't have the receiving thrust in terms of wide receivers. George Kittle is amazing, but for me, you need that wide receiver, and Emmanuel Sanders is now a saint. So that's why I think some drop-off might happen. So let's start. Week 1, they host the Cardinals. Um, the Cardinals are a lot better this year. Um, I do think the Niners and Cardinals are going to split this season series. Um, I think that... Um, they both are pretty great teams. I think just week one, it's going to take Arizona a while to get going, so I think the Niners are going to get a huge win. San Francisco is going to beat teams that have not that great offensive lines, and I think that's the Jets. The Jets aren't terrible. They have some good offensive pieces, but I think the Niners' defense really um, overwhelms um, the Jets, and I think they're going to win in New York and in New York again against the Giants. I think the Giants' offensive line still has a bit of ways to go. And both Sam Darnold and Daniel Jones are young quarterbacks, and I think that's something this defense can um, take care of. In terms of the Eagles, I believe this is a Sunday night game. Um, I actually have this as a loss. I think it'll be very close, but I just think the Eagles have a bit more of the speed threats, and that's something the Niners struggled with. Miami, the Dolphins. Again, the offensive line is not the best. I think San Francisco will win, and I think they'll sweep LA this season. Alrighty, I'm going to hand them another loss here, and that is to the Patriots. Bill Belichick is one of the best minds in NFL history. I think his defense could sh shut down Jimmy Garoppolo and George Kittle and crew. So I'm going to say that um, they also going to lose here to Seattle on the road. I actually have them splitting with Seattle, but a two-game losing streak. They're struggling a bit, but they dominated Green, Green Bay last season in the NFC Championship. I think they're going to bounce back, beat the Packers. I think the Packers have had trouble stopping the run. I think that's what's going to happen here. Um, and But I do think the Saints are going to win. The Saints and Niners were close. I think Emmanuel Sanders is going to have a bounce back game. And I think Michael Thomas is going to give Richard Sherman some trouble. They have the bye week. They come out on a two-game win streak. Um, the Bills and Niners are both great teams. But Josh Allen just really turns the ball over a lot, the Buffalo quarterback. And I just think that's something the Niners can take advantage of. And then I actually have them, um, for the rest of the season, I have them... Pretty much uh, losing these next two games. I think Washington, their football team has some great defense. Um, coached by Ron Rivera. I like Jimmy Garoppolo, but he's not going to amaze you. And I think these are two games where it's going to be the Washington's defense and the Cowboys' offense. That I think this is going to be a high-scoring matchup. I don't think that... I mean, one of the reasons I have the Niners losing to both Dallas and Philly is Dallas and Philly have great offensive lines, and I think the pressure is going to uh, struggle to get to the quarterbacks and stuff. So overall, I have the Niners going 9-7. Nine and seven. I think their defense will be good. I think against teams like the Giants, the Jets, you know, Miami, L.A., I think they will do really well. But I think some of these higher-scoring games are going to struggle Overall, I have them at 9-7, and seven, and we'll see at the end of this if they make the postseason. So, that is what I have for the defending NFC champs. And let's go to the Seattle Seahawks, the next team on this list. As we will bring them up right here. Alrighty, so we already have two games decided for the Seahawks. Um, I really like this team. Russell Wilson, I think, is the second-best quarterback, only behind Patrick Mahomes, Bobby Wagner, and Jamal Adams 
are really great defensive players. I also like the offense. I think the Eagles should have drafted DK Metcalf last season. They didn't. The Seahawks got a really good wide receiver. Tyler Lockett's great. Greg Olson's a good veteran. So, Seattle, I think, is going to be one of the better teams in the NFL. On week one, the Falcons got some nice offensive pieces, but I think their defense can take care of it. I think they're going to start out here going 2-0. You then go to this Dallas game, which I think is going to be um, a win. I think Seattle's going to do really well. Um, you then go to Miami, where I think that if, no matter who's quarterback, I think the Seattle Seahawks can take care of it. And the Dolphins' secondary is great. But I think Seattle, Russell Wilson can just pick it apart. And then Minnesota. I actually think that Seattle is going to lose this game to Minnesota. I know they've had the best of them, but I think that the Vikings are going to bounce back and figure them out this season. I think they split with Arizona. I think with DeAndre Hopkins on the Cardinals, the games are going to be a bit closer. Um, I then also kind of have a bit of an upset loss here to Buffalo. The Bills' defense is great. I think guys like Tredavious White can really lock down um, a person like Tyler Lockett. And where I had San Fran beating Buffalo, I don't know if the Seahawks have that pressure up front to really force those turnovers by Josh Allen. So I have the Bills winning. So they're going to sweep the Rams this season. I think that they will beat Philly. Um, in the Doug Peterson, Carson Wentz era, the Seahawks have had a lot of success. Um, and I know that this Eagles secondary improved, but Russell Wilson's an amazing talent. I then think they will beat both New York teams, and I think um, they'll beat Washington. So I have this team doing incredibly well at 12-4. and four. We'll see if that's the best record in the um, NFC, but a lot of their schedule's not too bad. The road games they have, Atlanta, okay, that's not too bad. Julio's great now, but I think they can take care of it. Arizona, I think they'll split. Buffalo, upset. Washington, San Fran, like, I, I really think that the Seahawks have a really favorable schedule. Miami is on the road. That won't be too bad, so I just think Russell Wilson's one of the best quarterbacks at this time, and I think we're going to really see that. So let's go to the Arizona Colonels, a team that I actually had really high predictions for. I have them, they're my dark horse Super Bowl team. I think Kyle Murray was a great rookie. I think this offense with Larry Fitzgerald bringing in DeAndre Hopkins is amazing. Kenyon Drake, I think, is going to be really good. Defensively, I love the Isaiah Simmons pick. And you have Chandler Jones, one of the best edge rushers. So, the Cardinals, I think, are going to start 1-2. and two. I think they can beat Washington, but... Matthew Stafford's a great quarterback. I think this is going to be a shootout. And I think that things are going to start bumpy here in the desert. But then I think we have a win streak. I think that Isaiah Simmons and crew are going to help contain the likes of Christian McCaffrey and the Panthers offense. I then think Kyle Murray is going to have a really good day against the Jets. They don't have a corner to contain DeAndre Hopkins. I have this with a really close game. I have them actually... Beating the Cowboys. I think they have the corners to take advantage of it. Um, so we have the Colonels sitting at two losses. Um, I think one of these two games, the Dolphins or the Bills, will either be a loss. I just think that I love this team, but they are very young. So one of these two will be a loss. I could actually see the Dolphins maybe after the bye week getting a win. They have some great corners. So we'll give we'll them a loss to Miami. Here, but I think they'll bounce back, beat Buffalo, lose to Seattle. This one with the um, with the Patriots is tough. At first, I had the Cardinals beating New England, you know, but I don't know if Cam Newton, Bel Belichick's a good mind. I, I think that New England does get the win here. I think that the Patriots do did lose some players, but they know how to scheme them. I then have them beating. Um, I actually think they'll split with LA. They've always struggled with kind of the Jared Goff, Sean McVay era, so I think they'll split with the Rams this season. And then we have the two NFC East teams left, the Giants and the Eagles, and I think they actually beat both of them. I think that they have the edge pressure to um, beat the Giants, and I think they have the people to get Saquon. I think the Isaiah Simmons pick is going to really help this season. Uh, so we'll have that, and then I think they can beat the Eagles. I think the Cardinals secondary guys like Buda Baker can contain a lot of these deep threats like Stephon Diggs on the Bills and 
you know, C.D. Lamb and Amari Cooper. So I have the Cardinals going 10-6. and six. Um, Their schedule at the beginning is pretty tough, but they have an easy close. So I have Arizona at 10-6, and six, definitely making the postseason. Okay, everyone, let's go to a team that I like the least. My least favorite team, I want to say my least favorite, but I just don't like the Rams at all this season. I'm going to be completely honest. Um, I like Sean McVay as a head coach, but I think a lot of Jared Goff's success is because of McVay. Um, they don't really have, you know, a great running game. Wide receivers, I like Cooper Cup, but they traded away Brandon Cooks. Um, their defense, they lost a lot of key pieces. I like Jaron Ramsey and Aaron Darnold. They're pretty great players. They're pretty elite at times. Um, I think Darnold more so than Ramsey. They're great players. But there's just they lost a lot of linebackers. I just don't like this Rams team. And I think they could be picking very high in this draft. So I have them losing very early here this season. I do think they'll outcoach um, a team like the Giants, and I do think Aaron Donald is going to be an issue for them up front. But I think Washington maybe wins this one. I do think they can actually beat the Bears. Um, maybe a team like Miami. You know, Miami. The only what I'm up and down is Aaron Donald is so great, and the Dolphins' offense line is not. So we'll say the Rams beat the, the Dolphins. I think that's fair. But just a tough schedule. I mean, the Eagles, Cowboys, Bills, a lot of great playoff caliber teams. You have another one here after the Seahawks with Tom Brady in Tampa Bay. Yikes, that's not going to be so great. Um, you then have a couple division losses. The Jets, I think that the Jets um, win. So I have the Rams going 4-12. I know that's very harsh. I just don't love what they do. I think what's going to happen is, is that they kind of gamble on the cap space, and it didn't work out. So I have the Rams losing a lot of games. I think they may go Patrick Sertain high of the draft. I don't know about Trevor Lawrence, but overall, that is my NFC West predictions. If I have to give a range, because, you know, there's always upset games in the NFL. If I have to give a range, I'll probably say Seattle between 11 and 13 wins, Cardinals between about 8 and 10, Niners between 9 and 12, and Rams between 4 and 6. So... That is what I have. I'll see you all for my NFC East predictions. I did a video on the Eagles, but I'll be doing the NFC East as a division as a whole. So I hope you all enjoy this. And until then, this has been Tam and Love. Take care and have a good one.